keeping recidivism rates down. One county in Georgia says it's doing just that through some innovative programs. Hello and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Candace Kelly and we are on location in our nation's capital for the National Association of Counties Legislative Conference. Joining me to talk about accountability courts and veterans courts is Commissioner Liz Hausman of Fulton County, Georgia. Thank you so much for being with us today. It's my pleasure. Now, what's interesting is that the Veterans Court is not quite up and running. You just got the grant, but other counties in the country have had success with this whole idea of, you know, if you are a veteran, going to court and having another veteran mentor you through your problems. Tell me how this would work. Well, that's a good setup. That's exactly how it works. We have a system of mentors in place that will help veterans that find themselves in an unfortunate situation and end up in our jails. And our goal is to help them overcome that without spending too much time in the jail system, but in, get them back on their feet and back into society and make them be productive members of society. And the veterans group is a different group, why? Well, there's a lot of returning veterans coming back these days, and a lot of them have issues. It's been really tough on them. Mm. And so they may find themselves in a situation that they would have never been in if they had not had that war experience. Mm. So our goal is to support them, to help them, and to keep them out of the jail system. We want them to be productive. And, and you've already seen how productive these types of courts are through your drug courts and your, your, your mental health courts. How do those work in real time? Well, you have to be 18 years old, and you have to have committed a felony but you cannot be a first offender. We have found that we have better success rate with someone that has been through the system previously and they're more likely to respond positively to the offer of help. Mm. So the typical program lasts about 18 months and um, they graduate from the program and they don't have to serve any time in jail. So what is it that they do? There's classes, training, uh, check-in points. How does it work for this person who's been through the system, has been there, done that, What's new for them here? Well, all of that, including counseling on job placement, um, help them um, find housing. Um, they have to check in. They have a series of goals they have to reach in order to graduate, and um, so it's all part of the accountability court. And it's a nice process that you have in place so that they actually feel like they've achieved something with this graduation. Absolutely, and they have a support network that they did not have before. Now, in, in terms of the costs that are saved, when you have somebody not go back into the system. Big savings. Our typical cost to house an inmate is $82 per day. The typical cost to go through the accountability court program is $16 per day. So that's a significant savings. We've estimated that it's about $38,000 a day in savings for those that are in the program. Mm. So you do the math, over a year it's almost $14 million. Oh, absolutely. So what does this do to the community overall to have a program like this in place and for people to see that their system's working for people who need the help? It's been very positively received. You know, we have limited space in our jails and it's actually made a lot of news in our community because of the issues that we have in our jails. So our choice was to build more jail space or to work on rehabilitation and we've chosen the latter because we feel like it's better for the individual, better for the families, and better for the community at large to have them be productive members of the community versus an inmate in our county jail. That really is some amazing work. When does the Veterans Court actually kick off? Well, we're about ready to get started. We okay. got the grant in the fall and so we have been, we've got the chief judge named, we've got the mentor groups in place and so we're about ready to get started. All right, well, have fun getting started. You've had success with courts already, and I'm sure that the Veterans Court will also be successful. Thank you so much for being with us. Well, thank you so much for your interest. And thank you, too, for watching.